when I stopped working for that land developer and I moved into like the metro market, I was that agent that was afraid to call my SOI and afraid to do all these things. So I went and bought back when Boomtown was exclusive. You can only have one for the area. That was me. And that's how I started this team. And so online leads are our specialty. Um, and so the way that we work it is at the end of week two on, on, um, on onboarding, if they've passed off all their stuff, we'll put them on lead flow. We'll start them on a certain lead flow, um, dependent upon who they are. And because we have a few different aggregates, we don't put everybody on everything. And then we monitor it. So we only give them three leads. And on those three leads, then we're listing the phone calls. We're seeing that they updated the back end of the, the aggregate portal and what ended up happening. At the end of those three leads, the reason we stopped it at three is so we can get ahead of it. So of just going in back in and training. After they've hit their three leads and we've gone in and actually listened to the call with them, hey, this is how your call went. What could you have done different? Where is this at? Then we're going in and giving, we're turning on the additional lead flow uh, that they can have more. Um, we monitor everything. Like it's, a, we have somebody, we have a database manager, we actually have two of them that we monitor absolutely everything that's happening from speed to the lead. Are they updating the CRM? How many do they have in their pipeline, et cetera? Um, the way that we manage it with their agents is there's one thing to be on the team and it's another one to be on lead flow. And those are two separate things. So you might be on my team, but if you want to be on lead flow, you will, um, make sure that your scorecard, your lead scorecard is up to date. It has to be at 80% or above. Um, and so the way that we do this, Chris is Sunday night at three o'clock, the, um, their databases are pulled and I have a VA that does this and it's a full day process, but she goes in and does a complete audit. And so, um, they can't have anybody as new because new means they haven't called them. And this is just my world. So everybody does it different. If they have them as qualify, they have to show that they've done a call, call text and they've reached out a minimum of however many times for the days that they've been qualified. If they're in nurture means that they have been communicated with, um, in terms of what they should be in nurture. And then if they're a hot lead, um, the hot leads are once a week. I always say it's like dating. If somebody's hot, like you're hot and heavy with them, it means you're talking to them, you know, their situation, they're going to transact. And then we have, um, we have the watch and the watch is once a month, nurtures twice a month, this scorecard, if there's any past to do's, um, Anybody who's not at 80% of follow-up, they get turned off of lead flow. So it's pulled on Sunday, Monday at four o'clock, they get notified with their scorecard if they're on or off lead flow for the week. It's reevaluated on Friday. So they only are off of lead flow for that four days. And the conversation is just that, hey, um, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. It looks like you're so incredibly busy. We're going to pause your lead flow so you can get caught up. Let us know when you're caught back up and we'll get you turned back on. And, um, and then from there on Friday, again, it's pulled there. They can go back on for the weekend. If it's back up to date, if not, it's pulled again on Sunday. Um, if I'm being very transparent with you guys, we probably only have 20 agents at a time on lead flow out of all of our, let's say we have 85 agents right now. So, um, you have a majority of the team that's not following up correctly, um, or that's off and then they're on or whatever. And so, um, yeah, we just monitor it like crazy and they get pulled off. So for example, I was on the phone with my director of ops this morning and she said, Hey, we had these five agents at a 50% answer rate last week. I told them we get it picked up or they're off of lead flow period. And I was like, Whoa, 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 Whoa. Yes. And there's a delivery. There's a way we deliver of saying, Hey, we're a partner with Ojo and, um, this relationship really matters to us. So if, if you can't answer your phone with, with, uh, this answer rate, we expect in our world, it's an 80% answer rate. Um, we're just going to pull you off, but not, she was just like, Nope, this is what's up. We monitor it. And I would say we've got it pretty dialed, but we're, um, I don't, I don't think we're perfect by any means. So. No, look at no one is, but you're doing more things right than than most. Um, you know, one of the, th- the key things you said, Spring, and I hope everyone heard it, is a lot of times on teams we have an expectation that everyone should be doing the things they should be doing, and the reality of it is, 
this, this, this is not going to happen. So what you've done is you've created a system where, hey, the people that are get rewarded. The people that aren't don't necessarily get punished, but you're not going to throw good money after bad or waste opportunities on the ones that you know aren't going to do anything. And you're giving them an opportunity to level up um, and, and to earn the earn that right. We also let them earn the right to the higher quality leads by activities. So their scorecards are one thing. Then if they're hitting a minimum of 100 conversations a week, then they uh, get the opportunity for our, our higher converting leads, such as Ojo and whatnot. And so it's not, it's a tiered system of how you earn the right to be able to have the, the higher converting leads. And this is what we actually started last year, uh, mid year, because you guys like our business actually was on fire last year until mid year. And then all of a sudden it started creeping up because of the rates and whatnot. And what was happening was our agents were used to just being order takers. They weren't used to having to work in a CRM and provide value and to nurture. And so we had to take it back of like, no, the real world of real estate is people don't buy a house overnight. Like you have to build a relationship and work from a CRM. And so, and you actually have to talk to people. And so we uh, went back and implemented the database and the, and the conversations to get the higher quality leads because we wanted to reward those that were willing to work. 